from the age of two, I said I wanted to be a firefighter. And then when I was five, I got my first fire helmet. For the past 33 years, White Bear Lake Fire Chief Greg Peterson has been putting on his uniform, his dream of becoming a firefighter, never having worn off. My mom always reminds me of that. And throughout my life, I was just always very interested in firefighting and wanted to be a firefighter someday, and obviously that continued. Peterson is the product of service-minded parents, his father a paramedic in the Army, his mother an LPN. Um, I think I know that overall um, we're, we're in a, a better place now. So. But it's not always been an easy road. A lot of missed meals, a lot of missed parties, hey, I gotta go, uh, it's, it's bad timing. A lot of meetings, a lot of training, and so they've been very supportive through it. Uh, they respect what I do and, and are proud of what I've done, and yet at the same time, it's not always been very easy on them. They worry when I go to significant events and, you know, are, are they coming back? Because they know things can go wrong. Peterson is no stranger to worry himself. The safety of his department is paramount to his role as chief. The well-being of my employees is what worries me the most. I, it's inherently a dangerous job, um, and so I can't make it safe for them all the time. Uh, there is nobody else that's willing to do what they do. Um, and so when the alarm goes off, we are gonna be put in dangerous situations that may seem benign because they usually turn out well, uh, but they always have potential to go poorly and I try to keep them safe, and, but I can't guarantee that. You know, they can't do the job without being able to, to risk their lives. This fall, Peterson was awarded the Fire Officer of the Year, presented by the Minnesota State Fire Chiefs Association. Nominated by City Manager Ellen Heineker, Peterson credits her and the City Council for supporting the changes he's made, including transitioning from a mostly part-time paid on-call model to a model with 12 full-time positions decreasing response times by at least half. The, the award was a huge honor to receive, but I don't believe I received it just because of the work I've done. It's because of city manager uh, Ellen and the council and the other department heads that have helped to support me in my role here. For a department with a tradition of promoting from within, Peterson was a newcomer formerly serving as battalion chief of the Roseville Fire Department. The, the best chief was the last chief or whoever the next chief is. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and though right. he believes so. he makes a good living, money has never motivated him to take a different road than the one that led him here. I, I've just always known that this is what I want to do. I've always been more interested in serving and helping out than I am about making a, a, a lot of money.